Hi, it's Karen Turner. I'm going to give you a bit of a show around Microsoft OneNote. What it is, is a electronic scrapbook and I find that hardly anybody has heard of it or is using it. You'll have to set it up for the first time and my advice is you just ask for it to be on your computer. It is quite possible, if I just take you into file, that you can share a OneNote notebook but you can share it on the web or on a network with other people if you want. I've often done that and it works really, really well, so you can have more than one person in a notebook any time. I thought I'd show you how, for example, I set up different sections for different subjects. Okay, and I put one here for holiday in France, just to demonstrate the way that I would do this. Within that, I set up a couple of pages. I set up the first page for ideas, then I'm going to put in some hotels that I might like to stay in. The way that I can bring things through, this is a picture from a website, if I pop down to the websites, I've got various places that I might like to take a picture of. So we take this one here. The Windows and the S key is my shortcut to taking a screen clipping. So you can see I can capture a picture from any other document at all or indeed a website and then it pops it back into the package. Where it takes it to depends on what you pick in that box. If I just show you that again, when I capture, and I'll tell you we go on to another picture, when I capture a picture, I do Windows and S. Okay, this box asks me where I would like it to go to. If I start typing holiday in France, there you go, send it to the selected location and this time when you go to OneNote it's in the right section here. It doesn't matter if you miss file things though because there is a superb search just here which will search all your notebooks in text. Notice by the way it's got a link to where I found this lovely town on the internet and uh, I could therefore go back through to check it out on a later date when I'm looking through my book. So if I pop back in here and I say find hotels, I might like to go through to the hotels here. So let's just go to the special ones here. That looks really nice. Uh, let's pop on there and have a look at that one. Oh, look at that. Wouldn't you just like to stay there? So there's a bit of text about it as well. I might like to capture that text. So I'll do the same trick with Windows and S. Make sure that I give it a little bit of clearance around the text as I drag the box to select it and then pop it back into Holiday in France, send to selected location. If I pop back on my OneNote and you can see text is there and it's popped it in on the page after we've got pictures here. What's nice about this is say I wanted to put together a document, what I could do is I'll turn this from a picture which I've captured to editable text. So I copy the text from the picture, so I just scroll down a little bit for it and paste it in. So there it is now as editable text. I'll just swap to this one, say I wanted that to be bold. You know, that is something that I could take through to another package. Wonderful. Love, love, love this package. What I also like about it is that I can tag something, say for example I say it's important, and then later on I can search my notebooks for all my tags. Okay, when I've found tags and I've found things, I can also email out some information as a page, which is cool because it will open up Microsoft Outlook and put it all into there. I can also pop things in as an Outlook task and I can look at meeting details and insert details from my Outlook calendar. There's a hell of a lot you can do. I can't run through it in five or six minutes, but just want to say to you, this is a fabulous package. So I thoroughly recommend you have a look at it and I'll probably do some more blogs on this subject in the future and uh, give you some more hints and tips.